angel investing. How do I decide and what makes it work? You know, I've always found this word angel investing such a funny word. It's almost like a religious being. Uh, by all means, I'm no different than a banker when it comes down to uh, investing in other people's companies or parting ways with my money. But there's three things that I figured I'd shoot a quick video on to explain to people what are those three criteria that I use for myself, hopefully to inspire other angel investors to get involved in really amazing entrepreneurs. Now, I don't know if you know my story, but I grew up in a pretty challenging environment. I got in a lot of trouble as a kid, and I met people you know, throughout that you know, my teenage years that really showed me the way, that set me on a different path, that really kind of believed in me. And, and those people, I, you know, I wouldn't even be in business if it wasn't for them. I mean, most people would have thought I'd either end up dead in a ditch, locked up in jail for the rest of my life, or, or found in a loony bin. So, you know, I really feel blessed and amazed with all the success I've had in business. You know, I've started five companies, even though the first two are complete failures. You know, I've gone on to raise money twice now. I've built and sold three companies. And, you know, I say that not, uh, not to brag, but really just to let you know that no matter where you're at, if you're just starting as an investor or you're trying to raise money as an entrepreneur, uh, I've been there. You know, I've, I've had those self-doubt feelings and I kind of surrounded myself with amazing people that helped me get through it. So the three things that I look for to invest in an entrepreneur, number one, would I want to spend time with them? Do I like them? Would I, would I want to go and sit down and have a drink? I can't tell you how many times I, I meet entrepreneurs and they're super aggressive in their approach or they come off as a bit little too cocky. And to hey, look, I totally get cocky. I mean, come on, let's be honest here. Um, but it's just they don't realize that it's first about building a relationship with somebody, getting to know somebody, uh, not about getting right into the pitch. I mean, just ask me a question. Talk to me about my experience. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's, you know, one time I heard it's all about no like, uh, no like, trust, buy. And to me, investing is no different. Like, I, get to, I need to know, like, and trust you first before I'm even going to consider parting with my money. Uh, so that's number one. Do I like you? Uh, do you inspire me? Have you taught me things? Because I, uh, for me, uh, you know, investing is very personal. I don't do it for the financial rewards, even though I've been fortunate to have some success uh, in investing. I really do it because I, I look at it as a way for me to learn, to be around people that inspire me. So that's number one. Do I like them? The second criteria is, uh, do I feel like I could be a value to them? Right? It's not about just investing. It's can I create value for them outside of the money? Is, it, is their industry something that I, I know how to do? Is there people or contacts that I feel if I made introductions would be super valuable for them? That's really important to me is can I create value for that entrepreneur? Can I be helpful over an extended period of time? Is it something I know about? And the third, and for me, honestly, one of the most important things is am I a customer? Do I understand the problem? Have I felt this problem? Because for me, if I've never felt the problem, then I'm not emotionally connected to the solution. I'm not emotionally connected to the startup. You know, so if you come to me with a biomedical or some financial algorithm or whatnot, there's a high likelihood that I wouldn't even be able to help because I don't understand it. I, I wouldn't be a customer of the product. And it's no knock in the opportunity and the amazingness of your team. It's just me and who I am as an investor. I really need to feel like, um, it's something where I could be a customer. I felt the problem. I mean, that's the way I invest. I, I go on AngelList and TechCrunch. Anytime I have a problem, maybe it's I'm, I'm working on a marketing thing and I feel like there should be a tool that exists. I'll go Google it. I'll go search it. I'll go on AngelList and search and see if there's a company trying to solve this problem. And it's actually through that process that I discover a lot of opportunities. You know, recently I was talking to a friend and he was cold emailing investors, like reaching out directly. And I thought that's, that's kind of the most ridiculous. It's not the way I raise money. You know, I, I did a webinar recently on fundraising like a pro. And in it, I, t I say that, you know, investors don't want to meet you or they don't want to meet you. They want to be introduced to you. Now, if you dissect that sentence, it's don't cold email somebody, but actually try to find somebody they know, like, and trust and get that introduction. You know, and for me, I suggest that people go after the entrepreneurs. Anyways, this is really about my criteria, Angel Invest. I wanted to put that out there to the world so that if anybody's thinking of reaching out to me, they understand the context of what I like. And if they're thinking of investing, maybe they might find value in, in those uh, beliefs and principles and use those as filters to find great investments. Because again, it comes down to people that I would want to spend time with. They inspire me. They teach me things. Uh, I feel like I would be a customer of the product, that I felt the problem, and I love the solution. And third, I can be helpful to them uh, in moving and growing their business going forward. So uh, I want to challenge you to stack your business for growth. 
and live an extraordinary life. Have an amazing day.